Hi everyone, my name is Jamie from Vancouver Public Library and welcome to our story time for today. We're going to sing some songs and rhymes together and I got a couple of stories to share. But first, we're going to do our hello song. So I want you all to reach up, reach up as high as you can and then reach down, 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 down. And then let's turn around and then let's touch the sky and touch the ground and wiggle your elbows, wiggle, 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 wiggle. And wiggle your toes, wiggle, 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 wiggle. And wiggle your fingers, wiggle, 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 wiggle. And wave, hello. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. It's nice to see you here. We're gonna do a little rhyme together called Jelly in the Bowl. So I want you to get a big bowl in front of you. And we're gonna sing this together. It goes like this. Jelly in the bowl, jelly in the bowl, wibble wobble, wibble wobble, jelly in the bowl, biscuits in the tin, biscuits in the tin, shake them up, shake them up, biscuits in the tin, candles on the cake, candles on the cake, blow them out, blow them out, candles on the cake. <gasps> Wonderful. Let's do that again. Let's get out our big bowl of jelly, and here we go. Jelly in the bowl, jelly in the bowl, wibble wobble, wibble wobble, jelly in the bowl, biscuits in the tin, biscuits in the tin, shake them up, shake them up, biscuits in the tin, candles on the cake, candles on the cake, blow them out, blow them out, candles on the cake, big breath. <gasps> Wonderful. All right. You know what? I'm still feeling a little hungry, so I'm going to get out a loaf of bread and my bread knife, and we're gonna do a little song together called Slice, Slice. <gasps> slice, slice, the bread looks nice. Spread, spread, butter on the bread. Jam on top to make it sweet. And now it's good for me to eat. Um, nom, 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 Mmm, such a good sandwich. You know what, I think I'm still a little hungry, so we're gonna make another one. Get out your loaf of bread and get out your bread knife, and here we go. Slice, slice, the bread looks nice. Spread, spread, butter on the bread. Jam on top to make it sweet, and now it's good for me to eat. Mmm, nom, 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 such a good sandwich. And you know what, our next story that I'm gonna share with you is called The Very Hungry Caterpillar, and this caterpillar, know the thing or two about being hungry and it's by Eric Carle but you know what we're actually not going to use this book we're actually going to do it as a felt story today so you can go over there and let me grab my felt and we'll tell the story of the very hungry caterpillar in the light of the moon lay a tiny egg on a leaf one bright, warm Sunday morning, the sun came up and pop! Out of that egg came a very tiny and a very hungry caterpillar. He went looking for some food to eat. On Monday morning, he ate through one apple. But he was still hungry. On Tuesday morning, he woke up and ate through two pears. One pear and two pairs, but guess what? He was still hungry. On Wednesday morning, he woke up and ate through three plums. One plum, two plums, three round purple plums, but guess what? He was still hungry. On Thursday morning, he woke up and ate through four strawberries. One strawberry, two strawberries, three strawberries, four delicious, sweet red strawberries. But that's right, he was still hungry. On Friday morning, he woke up and ate through five whole oranges. Here we go, we're running out of room. One, two, three, four, five big orange oranges. 
But guess what? That's right, he was still hungry. I can't believe it. On Saturday morning, he woke up and ate through one slice of watermelon, one cupcake, one sausage, one slice of cherry pie, one lollipop, one big hunk of bologna, ooh, a slice of Swiss cheese, ooh, a dill pickle, oh, a chocolate brownie, and one ice cream cone. Ooh, let's put it down here. And that night, was he hungry anymore, do you think? Oh, he had a big stomach ache. Oh, no. I'm just going to take some of these down just to make some room for the last bit here. And on s the next morning was Sunday again, and he woke up, and he nibbled on the little leaf, and he felt much better. But you know what? He was no longer a teeny tiny little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, gigantic caterpillar. Whoa. And then he built a little house around himself called a cocoon and stayed inside for two whole weeks. And then one day he nibbled a little hole and pushed and pushed and pushed his way out. And he became a beautiful butterfly. And that is the story of the very hungry caterpillar. Thank you for letting us share that with you. We'll put some of these, all this food away. You can all go down there. And I've got another little story to share with you. It's a song. Ah, a song about the man in the moon. And this is based on a Scottish folk song called Aiken Drum. And I'm gonna bring out my ukulele here. And we'll sing this little song together. It goes like this. There was a man who lived in the moon, in the moon, in the moon. There was a man who lived in the moon, and his name was Aiken Drum. And he played upon a ladle, a ladle, a ladle. He played upon a ladle, and his name was Aiken Drum. And you know what? Aiken Drum, all his different parts on his face and hair were all made up of vegetables. So let's get, oh, there's some little bit of hair there and a little bit of hair here. His hair was made of string beans. His hair was made of string beans, string beans, string beans. His hair was made of string beans, and his name was Aiken Drum. And he played upon a ladle, a ladle, a ladle. He played upon a ladle, and his name was Aiken Drum. And then you know what, his two eyes, they were made up of these tiny little round Cherries. One cherry, two cherries. His eyes were made of cherries, cherries, cherries. His eyes were made of cherries, and his name was Aiken Drum. And he played upon a ladle, a ladle, a ladle. He played upon a ladle, and his name was Aiken Drum. And guess what? Do you know what his nose was made out of? Something very long and orange. Something maybe a carrot. His nose was a carrot, a carrot, a carrot. His nose was a carrot and his name was Aiken Drum. And he played upon a ladle, a ladle, a ladle. He played upon a ladle and his name was Aiken Drum. And lastly, his smile, his mouth was made out of a yellow banana. Aha! His mouth was a banana, banana, banana. His mouth was a banana, and his name was Aiken Drum. And he played upon a ladle, a ladle, a ladle. He played upon a ladle, and his name was Aiken Drum. Oh, wonderful. Thank you for singing along. I hope you were bouncing and grooving to that one. And that brings us to the end of our story time. We're going to say our goodbye song. So I want you all to reach up as high as you can. And then reach down, 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 down. And let's turn around and touch the sky and touch the ground. And then let's wiggle our elbows, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And tap your thighs, tap, 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 tap. And wiggle your fingers and wave goodbye. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, everyone. And we'll see you again next time. 
Thank you all for joining us today for our stories and songs. And uh, if you want to come by your local branch, we got lots and lots of stories to share with you. Uh, so uh, we'll see you again next time. Bye, everyone. Thank you.